Today, environmental issues have a major impact on the global marketplace, the policies that regulate it, and the decisions made by many organizations. The International Car Wash Association, through its charity car wash program, has been able to bring to the public's attention the negative effects that fundraising car washes held in parking lots around North America have on the environment. Typically, these fundraising car washes overburden local storm systems with phosphorus and other harmful pollutants that destroy the beauty of local ponds and streams. Washing cars with a hose in the bucket also wastes water, one of our most valuable natural resources, by using up to three times the amount of water that is used by a professional car wash. Damage to automobiles and personal injury to an organization's member or supporter are unfortunately all possibilities if an organization chooses to go it alone. However, by selling tickets to their neighborhood professional car wash, charitable organizations, local athletic teams, schools and religious groups usually raise more money than they would in a parking lot and they accomplish their goals safely and without negative impact on the environment. Some communities throughout the United States, including those in Connecticut, New Jersey, and California, have already begun regulating charity car washes held in parking lots. And as this important environmental message reaches more people, many states will begin regulating charity car washes as well. This important issue was recognized in the following NBC News affiliate report, which aired recently in Portland, Maine. Your 24-hour news center. Count on us. From your 24-hour news center, this is the Morning Report. To business news now, on a rather small scale today, car washes that make money for charity seem harmless enough, but officials in many states say those fundraisers are bad for the environment. More today from Scott Miller. On sunny Saturdays, they are everywhere. Kids washing cars to raise money. These Sea Scouts set up shop in a supermarket parking lot. As a fundraiser, it all seems squeaky clean until you look at the gallons of wastewater splashing onto the pavement. All the soaps are there, the oils, the dirt and the grime, etc. Ends up right in the lakes, streams, and Puget Sound. That's right, yes. The concern over charity car washes was first raised by the people who wash cars for a profit. Commercial car washes must follow strict environmental laws water is reused and when it's finally dumped it goes to a sewage treatment plant the suds from charity car washes usually get no more treatment than rainwater they flow right into a storm drain in most cases the charities themselves have no idea their innocent fundraising isn't so innocent after all I, I don't think it's been a concern up until now it's not been pointed out and certainly we're going to respond if there's legitimate threats to the environment in some states, like New Jersey, Connecticut, and California, charity car washes are now being regulated. One alternative has been for charities to sell discount coupons to commercial car washes, where people know their suds are going someplace safe. Scott Miller for NBC News, Seattle. All of us, charities, professional car washes, and the media, can help improve our environment by moving charity car washes from parking lots to professional car washes, which properly use, conserve, and dispose of water, our most precious resource. 